Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to test for normality using the statistical program PAST. I'm going to share my screen with you all. So first of all, what is normality and what do we need to check for? You look right over here, you see a data set that fits a normal curve. The mean and median are both going to be located in the same place. We have that traditional bell curve shape where the variation is equal on either side of the mean. However, if you look here, you see that the data is skewed. So in this case, the frequency of um, whatever this data is, is tends to be on the, the shorter values. And then as you go further out, there are some, but at a lower frequency. This does not fit the normal distribution. So if you have data that fit this normal distribution, and are normal, you are able to use parametric tests that are based on means. However, if your data are not normal, maybe they're skewed, or maybe you also have a bimodal frequency where you have a lot, a high frequency at a low number and again at a high number, then your data are not normal and you need to use what is referred as a non-parametric test. And these are usually based on medians or ranking systems. And you can always go back to the basic guide to stats, which is going to walk you through doing that again. So we are going to run a test. There are many different tests that you can run. We are going to use the Shapiro-Wilk. And we will get a p-value after we've run our Shapiro-Wilk. And if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, it means that the data are normal and that we can use a parametric test. However, if your p-value is less than 0 0.05, then your data are not normal, they're not fitting that normality bell curve, and you need to use a non-parametric test based on medians or on ranking. So we're going to open up PAST, our free and easy to use statistical program that is good for nice simple data sets when you're just trying to check things out. And I'm going to be utilizing some of this fish data. So I want to be examining, eventually I'm going to be looking at comparing the abundance of butterfly fish, parrotfish, wrasse, and damselfish. So I'm going to copy all of these. First of all, I'm going to add in my column attributes so that I can put my, my titles in here too. I'm going to copy these data. Copy, come in here, and paste. So I now have my family name across the top and I have my four data sets. You can look at an individual data set for normality and past, or if you want, you can look at them all at once. So we're just gonna go ahead, copy all of these data, come up here to univariate and scroll down to normality tests. And I will click on this. All right, let's space this out a bit. So you can see here, we've got each of our four families across the top. And like I said, there are many different ways you can test for normality, different tests. We are using Shapiro-Wilk. So I'm looking at the p-value underneath the Shapiro-Wilk test. All right, so remember, if it is less than 0.05, it means those data are not normal. This highlights the p-value is less than 0.05 in this pale orange. So you can see here for parrotfish and RAS, those two data sets are less than 0.05, therefore they are not normal, and you would need to use a non-parametric test. However, your damselfish have a p-value that's quite high, 0.88, and the butterfly fish, it's just above 0.05, but it is above 0.05, so those two both are considered to be normal. And as such, you would be able to use a parametric test like a t-test or an ANOVA. However, you're comparing multiple sets of data. And because you do have some, just takes one, you have some that are non, not normal, below p-value of 0.05, means that you should stick to using a non-parametric test for all of your comparisons. So we know now from looking at this that we have two that are not normal, so we are going to apply non-parametric tests to all of our results. Also, if you wanted to look at the distribution of your data, you can do a quick histogram. So one of our, let's see, I, I believe it was this last family that did have a pretty 
that had a normal distribution. I'm going to just highlight this and I'm going to come up here to plot histogram and click here. And you can see this normal shape. It can fit to normal. And you can see, even though you know we only have three, three bars here in our histogram, it does follow a normal distribution. In contrast, I believe our parrotfish were not normal. I'm going to highlight these and do the same thing. Plot, histogram. You can see here that it's very much skewed towards lower distributions, right? But there's a few that were higher. If it fit normal, you can see how it tries to put that normal distribution, but it's, it's not quite right. So this is a good way to visually get an idea of what the skew or spread of your data looks like as well. All right, so now that we know that our data are not normal, we used to need to use non-parametric tests, I will refer you to the next video about how to run different tests.